Manchester City 2, United 3. Um, what a comeback. What a comeback from United. Absolutely incredible. It's Games like that are the games United fans have been wanting for since Fergie left. It's the sort of fight, the passion United have been wanting from their players. Pogba stepping up, Sanchez stepping up. You know, it's as if United made two signings at halftime. Well, 11 signings probably. Um, first half, United, there was a lack of fight, lack of effort. They just, as soon as City scored one, they seemed resigned to, to defeat. They, they they just looked like, oh, right, let's let's all feel sorry for us. But whatever Mourinho said to them at halftime, and Mourinho's not going to get credit for whatever he said to them at halftime. You know, it takes a special manager to be able to turn players around the way he did. I don't know what he said, but... Oh, absolutely fantastic from United. Um, I missed the last 15 minutes. I was backstage at a Reckless Intent live event. Um, so I didn't get to see the last 15 minutes. Probably for the best, from my heart. Um, having seen De Gea save and City obviously hitting the post. Um, but <sighs> United, that that was a game of the Manchester United way. That was everything Manchester United should be about. That was... Uh, Exciting, dramatic, um, drama, everything. Fantastic from United. And hopefully United can use this as a platform for next season. Um, even though he scored the winner, and he showed great passion with the celebration. You could see it meant a lot to him. But I still think Chris Smalling's time at United is up. Um, he's a defender who can't defend, quite, quite simply. Great finish for the goal. And it did show good mental strength to come back from the horrendous first half he had. But, he, you know, he's trying to bully company and he gets absolutely bitched about. And it, it's just, nah. For, for me, thanks for that, Smalling. It was great. And you, you did improve in the second half from what I saw. But, you know, you're a defender who can't defend at the end of the day. And I think it's that, that was probably one mistake too many. It's the exact same mistake he made, you know, was it four or five years ago, six years ago, whenever it was. Um, when company scored the winner in the derby and it just shows he's not learning he makes the same mistakes every game um, nearly so I think he's not learning and he's not improving as a footballer so I do think Smalling is part is one of many who need to go in the summer Herrera looked good the confidence for his layoff to Pogba was good Pogba in the second half um, if anyone had any doubts about Pogba leaving United in the summer, I think he went a long way to say, I'm staying put, the passion, the, the, you could see the joy, how much it meant to him, um, scoring those two goals, and at the end of the game, it was him that was leading the players to the fans, um, when City hit the post from the corner, it was him that was screaming, trying to organise the defence, he showed he was a leader, he showed he could be the, the player we thought he was going to be when he signed, this could be a massive turning point in his career, and Sanchez, is he's looking better, He's settling in. He has handed all three goals and two assists as well. That's the Sanchez United signed. And as I said, that we should judge him next season, give him a pre-season. But you can tell he's bedding into United. And he he was a big part in United's, uh, United's turnaround. So, you know... The United United players they 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 played with pride. They played in the second half. They played with pride. They played, they played like it meant something to them. And City fans are gonna say, "Oh, United celebrating like they won the league." No, they celebrated like they won the derby. Winning a derby is incredible. Is an incredible feeling in football. Um, I haven't played for my local team and won a derby. I know I know how it feels, obviously at youth level, but it's it's still a good feeling. So you you want us you want those you want those wins. You want those wins, um, and United celebrated like it meant, and that's that's what United fans want to see. They want to see passion from the team. They want to see the team caring. And United second half really, really showed this far and away the most impressive gutsy performance from United. I would say maybe not the best footballing performance, but in terms of the came back against Chelsea, good. Came back against Palace, you know, great as well. But to do it against the best team in the country. Um, away from home when everyone's writing you off watching you know what watching match of the day as well and the commentary and the, the live game you know two nil down everyone was writing united off and it could have been four or five city probably should have had a penalty when um when uh when young uh took out aguero but i don't care it makes up for uh bravo's one on rooney last year so uh hopefully this can kickstart united well not kickstart but you know give united a big kick up the arse 
push towards the end of the season, finish second, win the FA Cup, and that would still be a very good season for United. And uh, one last thing, so um, if United go from sixth and finish second, hypothetically, obviously sixth to second, and Liverpool finish fourth last season, still finish fourth this season, which looks like they might do. Um, who's made it a bigger improvement in this team, Mourinho or Klopp? Up the fucking red shirts. <laughs>